KhalifaRap.net is proud to bring you an exclusive interview with uh, Spanky Loco, which will be hosted by our special guest for today's uh, evening, uh, Fallen Angel. So, how are you guys uh, doing? Great, we're doing great. Hey, everybody, how's everybody doing? What's Spanky? Good, what's good? What's good right here? Representing, giving it up. My girl, two West Siders in the motherfucking building. So, okay, so I'm going to start off by saying that we're going to do the interview a little bit different than Funk normally does because we got the questions from the forum and we're going to read each uh, question with the forum uh, member name first. So, That's okay, so I'm going to start yeah, off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I want to interrupt by saying thanks to all the homies out there that, you know, took the time to post up, you know, their questions, whatever they want to know about. You know what I'm saying about the realist, and um, you know just keep representing, keep giving it up, you know, because we still out here doing our thing. So, you know, we ain't going nowhere. Okay, so ready to begin. I have about 22 questions. I didn't pu I didn't pull them all, but I'm going to start off with a question by one of my favorite members. His name is G Fellow. That's my homie right there, and he wants sure. to know what's going on with the Spanish album. The Spanish album. Uh, Man, we've been putting a gang of tracks together for that. I actually have a few Spanish projects that I've been um, working on. I got uh, L.A. to New York. Um, I got uh, Somos Lo Peor with my girl Queen Montana. That's a that's a joint joint collab right there. And then I got Diando Rifando coming. So it's a few um, Spanish Spanish uh, projects that we've been you know just polishing up. We got a lot of tracks, but then uh, we've all, we've also been blessed to come around homeboys that you know, that, that want to do the Spanish shit. So like, man, let me contribute a track to that. I'm like, you know, more than more than willing to accept this. Any homies out there that coming with it, come with that Spanish fire, you know, Tirano Rifando is, 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 is there. You know, the homies that, that, uh, that think they, they got that, that, that potential to make it, make it crack and make noise from wherever they coming from, send us a track, you know, send it to, send it to my boy, uh, my boy Funk. Okay, so do you have a like a rough estimate of when you think it's coming out, or uh, perhaps in the next, um, like in the next two months, we're looking at these uh, releases that we're working on right now, and um, that's the that's the true that's uh, protect the West, the mixtape, um, and then we also have uh, uh, back banging instrumentals. So that's our focus right now, but at the same time, we are you know getting these projects ready to hit the streets. So. In a couple months, just keep your ears to the street, keep your ears to the net, and for sure you'll hear, you'll hear something about it. Okay, yeah, you're working hard. Anyway, the next question is by Mexican Malo. He wanted to know, uh, is there anyone you'd like to do a collaboration with that you haven't worked with already? Um, I'm, I'm willing to work with, with what I already said in the past, like I, I'm willing you know, to work with, with, with whoever's coming with it. You know what I mean? They're giving it up hard, and... When they're doing their thing. I'm, I'm with it, you know, and you know, I don't isolate myself. When we happen to be at the, you know, right place at the right time, it, you know, the magic happens. That networking happens. So, you know, fuck is there? Thank you, there. Ready to put it down. So, uh, you know, don't, don't be surprised when you hear some, you know, some crazy happening like that. You know, like that. Everybody killer stops and, you know, st stops and thank you, local. Everybody killer. So. I was about like to that. ask you about that. that. Yeah, be on the lookout. Very hot. Very hot. Do you have wow. who else is who else is gonna be on that project? I don't know, but some punk ass motherfuckers are gonna get murdered on that project, you know, because it's it's a statement, you know. Basically, we don't give a fuck, you know. Motherfuckers that you know been trying to say shit about Spanky Local, say shit about Stomps, you know, trying to put, you know, trying to put some hearsay out there. We're gonna clear it up and just you know bang on whoever we need to. We banging on wax. We don't give a fuck, you know. And we stay to the streets, so it ain't like. You know, we doing some shit where you ain't gonna be able to see us. We always in the street. Ask about stops. Ask about Spanky Local. You know, we some motherfuckers that stay connected to the street. Like that's 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 how our blood pumps. You know, like motherfucker could not be, you know, doing it and, and be hiding in the motherfucking attic or in a closet or you know tucked away somewhere and talking all this shit. Like we just don't roll like that. You know, we in the motherfucking city in the gutter of this shit. Los, right in Los. I'm in downtown smashing right now in my Cadillac CTS. So. You know, I don't, I, I ain't tripping on none of that, you know? 
I ain't tripping on none of that. I, I want the festival. I want the public to know it's all it's all it's all reality rap. It's all real shit. So you motherfuckers think you know, think, think you know you know what's cracking out here? You ain't got no motherfucking idea. You ain't got no idea. It's everybody killer all motherfucking day coming soon. Coming yeah, that's soon. a that's a out. pretty nice album cover too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can check out the album cover on Khalifa Rap. I'm saying all the forum, you know, all the forum bangers. So again, right. is that one is that one gonna be like, you know, it's the joke within Chicano rap because they always say coming soon, but they don't give a date. So you don't have a date for that, right? Um, we're actually, I'm actually meeting up with Slums right now as we speak. We, we we're working on it like consistently. So this is uh this is one of these rare projects that we we're like, you know, really fucking putting a lot of time into it and 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 make sure we get it like wrapped up because we don't want to do what I mean what's been done in the past where you know we say that something's gonna pop but unfortunately you know it's it, it's you know because of personal issues or because of life just life in general it is you know things things are gonna come in between you know what your true plan is which is to motherfucking satisfy the fans and let it be known that you got that heat that you out there doing it you know what I mean, but sometimes, you know, death, motherfucking jail, shit like that comes into play with our shit. Not like girlfriends or, you know, my old lady's tripping, so I can't do that shit. Or not lame shit, you know what I mean? Like on, on some lame square shit. Nah, our shit is more like motherfucking prison, you know, prison terms and, and indictments and shit and, 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 and fucking cases and shit like that that's been cracking that we, you know, there's like, you know, we... There's no way around it. You know what I mean? It takes it takes a lot of time from our personal life to to be able to make it crack. And unfortunately, you know, a lot of things been going on with the real three one West that you know the fans ain't really involved in or don't know about that we out here, you know, clearing up. And it's just obstacles, man. It's just obstacles that get laid out that we ain't gonna, you know, fall back on or fall short or give up on. Like, you know, this is what we do. You know, we stay to the streets and we do this music thing because we love it. And the fans eat it up, so it's like it, it only makes sense for us to do it. So definitely, when we put you know some time into it, and we let you guys know this is when we're gonna try to do it. That's 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 where when we try and we try and so you know we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Stomps is on me. Stomps is on me right now on this project. So we got videos coming for this shit. We got um you know you guys got the artwork already out there. It's gonna be coming real soon. So peep it out, everybody killer. Okay, uh, question three, or actually it's four now. Um, it's also by Mexican Malo. He wants to know what is, in your opinion, your most successful CD? Man, that Spanish shit is going to be my most successful CD. I think that one, um, you know, on top of everything was just more, you know, it, it made a lot of people more, you know, hear, and, 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 and it opened people's eyes to this other music that we had. You know, that shit just opened up doors for us internationally, you know, with that fucking and El Barrio and all that, which, I mean, it's a trip because we were sitting in the, you know, in the, in the fucking, in the west side, all the homies posted, and it was like nothing. It just came out like water, you know, in 40 minutes. We had the whole song, you know, wrapped up, and everybody's like, you know, that's showing a lot of support to, the, to that track, to that whole project in general, which, to be honest with you, was just kind of like a fluke. We did that on the side. While we were working on a few other things, we're like, man, fuck it, let's, you know, let's see what we can do with this Spanish shit, um, you know, just, you know, just to see what happens, and, you know, it ended up, you know, being, being on hottest project. So, yeah, that Spanish shit is, is, is on here. It takes, you know, it, it took us, you know, to international levels. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, the next question is by me. And I wanted to know what you thought about Chicano rap versus Latin hip hop. I mean, a lot of people try to separate it. Some people say it's all about just making good music. Where do you think you guys fit in all that? And yeah, that's a question. Um, shit, I'd like to see the game evolve. You know, I don't, I don't really, I'm not one to like label shit. I'm not really, you know, into labeling shit. But you know, I just want to see the game, you know, flourish. I know the economy and shit, money is real fucked up out there. So it's you know, it's hard to say where, where, where you know, which direction we're headed. Obviously there's more people listening to, you know, Spanish rap, Chicano rap, and that's a good thing. You know, everybody go out there and support, you know, support this underground, you know, scene there's music, there's unique style of music that comes from the hood, comes from you know, comes from odd places that you know, you just you just don't know and it could be your neck of the woods, you know what I mean? And and shit that you going through and shit that you tripping out on. 
that, you know, other homies, your peers and shit, are actually putting together, taking the time to put together. And, and it's a lot of work, a lot of dedication. So go out and, you know, support, support your local artists or even the artists that you feel is, you know, putting it down. And, and, and it's, it's all, you know, it's all, it's all about love and support. You know, we, we, putting, the, we putting in the same, you know, love and, and support into the music. So, you know, hopefully it's, it's all towards a better direction. I mean, I, me, myself, I just, you know, it's, to me it's rap. It's rap, but, you know, motherfuckers, I see motherfuckers in the street, like, hustling. I don't, you know, if he's white, black, fucking Mexican, it don't matter to me. When I see that, I'll, you know, and I'm at a gas station or I'm posting some whatever, and, and fools are like, hey, what's, I got this CD for sale, whatever, I like, I'll buy it. You know, like, I ain't tripping on, you know, on on on, on nothing. Just, just the fact that these fools are out here hustling and the music is something that, you know, if you put enough effort into it, you're going to get people's attention, you know, get people's, but you got to work it. You got to, you know, actually go out there and motherfucking make it crack. You got to make it crack. Just like we made it crack. Nobody made it crack for us. We did that shit. Nobody came to us with no motherfucking deal and said, here's 20, 30, 50,000, you know, go out and go out and uh, fucking make your videos, go out and do that. Nah, it was all love. It's all just by pressing fucking 1,000 to 2,000 to 5,000 to fucking 10, 20,000. I mean, it, it went from there. We, you know, going to fucking Japan, going to fucking Spain, going to New York, fucking Mexico, like going to places we never fucking thought we were, you know, we never thought we was going to leave the hood ever. You know, and it's all because of the support. It's the support. We can't be here without one another. So definitely go out and support that fucking underground rap, that gangster shit, you know? Okay. The next question is also by me, and uh, I remember I talked about this with you before, but... I wanted to know, like, I remember, like, in 05 and 06, I'm driving down the freeways, and I see uh, 310 West all over the place, like, posters. And I had no idea who you guys were, but, like, two months later, everybody was talking about you guys. So what made you guys just come out of nowhere? Like, what set you guys apart from a lot of the other unknown artists that are out there? Um, we going back to the same, like, kind of like on the same note that I left off on the, on the last question is just, it's just grind. Without it, you ain't gonna do nothing. You can be in your house and say you can be the fucking number one rapper fucking of the year, and, and you got all this skill and everything. But if you you know at your house doing it, and you ain't going out there and doing it, then you know what the you know. I mean, you should already know what's coming. Nothing, nothing, because you ain't out there doing it. And that's at that time we had fucking you know we had everything set like a plan set to go out and fucking breathe, eat and fucking shit this shit. Uh, you know, 24-7, so, um, with, with that said, we had a gang of motherfucking, a time invested, a gang of, uh, a gang of our own funds invested, a gang of our own fucking, you know, uh, blood, sweat, and tears invested into that, and, and just, you know, the streets took off with it, gang of little homies went out there, put it, you know, put it to their little homies, their little homies took it to schools, you know, and, and, and so on and so forth, took it to work, took it, you know, here, there, family members, and it just, it just caught fire like a wildfire. Everybody was, you know, hip to the game after a few months. So, I mean, really, it's it's it's, it's the grind, the streets, and the support. So, you know, that's mm -hmm. how it is. And you're still hearing our shit everywhere. You still going places. You know what I mean? And hearing about Spanky Local, the real three. You know what's hearing about? You know that bullshit incident. And it's all, you know, it's all, you know, it's all relative. It's all, you know, the grind. It's all Spanky Local and the real three. You know, West the homeboys. Put, putting the smash down, having product and doing it. Okay, the next question is from one of our most hated forum members. He goes by God now. Uh, <laughs> where did your name come from? My name came from the hood. I'm originally Spanky from Westside Locals. So, um, you know, my old boys gave me that name. And, um, you know, it just, you know what I mean? It just, that's how it was. You know, it's, it's hood born, hood raised. Didn't mm. come from motherfucking no producers or from nobody else. Came from you know, didn't come from my manager, or nothing like that. Motherfucker ain't got no manager. I manage my own motherfucking nuts. So, spanky local, hood born, hood raised. <laughs> okay. Uh, God also wants to know what made you want to rap. What made me want to rap? Mm -hmm. Shit, just um. Man, I've been doing it. I've been doing it fucking for 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 a minute. Doing it on the block. I used to do it for the homeboys, freestyling and shit. So, yeah, you know I mean, just seeing opportunities out there. I, you know, at the time, I was just like, I, I was busted out of state, 
and they were bumping shit out there. I was tripping out on shit out there. Like it was just it was just spreading out. So I, you know, I just felt like I don't know, like like it was a good hustle. Like at the time, it was like it could have been a, you know an easy flip or something, but it was it wasn't easy. I mean, it was it was it was a lot of hard work, you know. And sometimes I think like, damn, you know, fucking, you know, do, do I want to go through that shit or would I go through that shit? And I would, I would go through that shit again just to make you know all this shit happen and and go through the things we've been through and the experiences and shit and like the people that we touched, like it's just been like fucking overwhelming. The motherfucker goes out on the street and, and and gets you know stopped all the time on that music shit. So. You know, sometimes I'm like leery because you don't know. You know what I mean? Like I see fools looking, I'm like tripping out. Like what's what, like what's up? Like what these fools want? But I won't relate the music to the street shit. And I just trip out. So when they come at me, you know, with positivity and they come at me like straight, I'm like fuck. That's that's all love. You know, it's all Southside love. So definitely, man, I'm appreciative because of this this whole situation. Okay, the next question is also from God. He had quite a few. Uh, he wanted to know how, uh, if you and Weddle grew up together. Um, yeah, we're, we're from the same hood. We're from the same hood. We didn't grow up together, like, from childhood. Um, but, you know, we, 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 we fucking came across each other, like, like, uh, uh, you know, the early years of, of fucking high school and shit. So, you know, I've been, I've been knowing Weddle for, for a, a minute. I've seen him in, in drastic situations. He see me in drastic situations, and you know, through all this time we've been together, and um, you know, my boy lives his life, I live my life, you know. But at the end of the day, we're still connected and shit like brothers, you know. Like I know that you know he's only a phone call away, or he's only you know fucking miles away, miles away to where you know I need somebody to you know chop it up with, or I need somebody to come ride with me, or whatever the case might be that's my man that's my boy that's my brother right there so yeah Weddle Snipes is you know also hood born and hood raised and you know fucking taught you know taught, taught each other a lot of shit you know throughout the years that's a wise very wise cat right there so Weddle Snipes effectively my brother and shit okay he also wanted to know how the people in Spain view Chicanos or Mexicans I'm going to kind of reword that because not all the fans are Chicanos or Mexicans but right, Hispanics right. as a whole that aren't from Spain how did they view us um you know they were they were like I don't know they were very positive everybody had a positive attitude everybody was with it you know they just tripping out on a, on a homie and while I was out there, like, I tripped out that the, um, there were Spanish cats that were G'd up, G to a T, like, you know what I mean? We got into some bar fights and shit out there, to be honest with you. <laughs> we was out there squabbing, yeah, for real. We were out there squabbing and shit, getting them up with fools, and, like, there was fools that were like, man, like, man, this is 3 one fucking West, like, banging to the fullest, like, tossing chairs at hudas, like, at cops. Like, these fools were, like, running up on cops, tossing chairs at them, and fucking getting buck wild. So we knew, like, these fools had... Like heart, you know what I mean? Like these these cats had heart. They were grimy. They were from the streets and shit. They knew, all, you know, all about three one zero West, the Spank local, what well, snipes and big crime, and says from the West and all the other homeboys that fucking started because of this movement that I started. You know what I mean? They they were hip to the game, you know. So um, for sure, they got they got love out there, man. Spain is Spain is a, you know is a trippy spot. They, a lot of beautiful women, a lot of good <laughs> cats out there. So. You know what I mean? Madrid, Barcelona, you know, dubs up, west sides up, all day. Okay, uh, another question from God. He wants to know who your favorite artists were when you were a child. When I was a child, I don't, I, I don't remember a lot of the sounds that I used to listen to when I was a youngster. Fucking, you know, Easy, fucking Humpty Hump, you know, Hammer, all these, all these sounds that were coming out of Los, coming out of fucking you know, K-Day, coming out this AM little AM station, you know, at the time that we was young, I had, you know, the big homos from, from West Side Locals that were, you know, they would do their thing and, and bump up and down the block and, you know, fucking mashing the Nova, mashing the Impalas, you know, mashing the Regals and shit. And so you was like, you know, a little kid hearing all these sounds and fucking little did I know I was getting molded by all these, all these sounds and all this music that was coming into, you know, into my eardrums and shit from EP and D East Coast shit. I remember I'd be glued to the, to the TV watching fucking Soul Train, tripping out watching fucking EPMD, <laughs> yeah, watching EPMD, watching that Asian lady and shit with the long hair and then watching EPMD rock the, rock the fuck out that shit, you know, so it was a little bit of everything, you know, it was, you know, you know, the sounds that were coming through, 
you know, through our air, airwaves and through our through our tubes and shit out here in Los at the time, you know, so it was all, you know, it was it was all hip hop, the originators of hip hop that made made it happen, molded a motherfucker. Okay, I'm glad you said that because a lot of the forum members like they like to hate on what they call black rap, but you know they seem to forget where it came from. Anyway, yeah. the the next question is from Art of Execution, aka Art of Seduction. <laughs> That's besides, right. Besides you and Weddle, who else is in 310 West? Big Crime, he's, you know, he's busted right now. My boy Big Crime, solid motherfucker, you know, straight soldier. 310 West till he dies, you know, like all of us. You know, it's in his motherfucking heart. He's showing a 626. He don't give a fuck. It ain't about the area code. It's about the lifestyle, the way we do it, the way we live it. You know what I mean? So Big Crime is definitely a 310 West rider. My boy says from the West, he does his own thing. He's flourished into his own motherfucking, you know what I mean, into his own leader, you know, which, which is, well, that was the intention from the beginning, like, I wanted to see all my own boys flourish and do their own thing and, 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 and fucking eventually grow out their shell and, and, and see what I was doing, because I don't keep a secret to what I do, I mean, if you, you know, you come in and you hungry and you, you know, you need good game and it's, 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 it's not something that's going to inconvenience me, then definitely, you know what I mean, like, I'll put you up on game on this rap shit, like, you know what I mean, it don't, it don't, you know, it ain't nothing for motherfuckers to be like hating on and and fucking keeping shit and, and hiding shit and and doing all this other bullshit. You just you know you gotta spread the love, share the love. That's it's all love. It's money out there. You just gotta grind it out. If you a hustler, you're gonna get it. If you ain't a hustler, you gonna stay behind. So you know definitely the homeboys are, are in effect. Um, other than that, there's not really nobody else that I could say. Um, you know bangs with us. You know you know my my circle got smaller. You know what I mean. You know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to avoid the bullshit, you know, separate the shit from the bullshit. So, you know what I mean? My circle's tight right now. My circle, my circle is straight. You know, if, 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 you know, homeboys come, you know, come, come and, and, and work with us, that's different. You know, but as far as my circle, the real 310 West, it's, that's, that's it. That's all, that's all it right there. Okay. Another question from Art of Execution. He wants to know what's up with the clothing line. Oh. Shit, spanky, spanky local tees, man. That was a fucking, that was something really that, like I said, it was just a fucking a trip. What kind of response was out with that? It was just fucking my homeboy, uh, clown out of Carson did it, did a gang of tattoos for the Black Wall Streets and, um, and, and, and fucking the game and, and and a few other cats and shit out there. Good, good shop. Fucking lifestyle tattoos out in Carson. Those are the homeboys. Um, they did some patterns and some designs along with Cash and Fame. And uh, we put these, these designs together, man, and fucking, they took off selling hundreds of these shirts, you know what I mean, from fucking sending them out of state to out of the country, we just had an, you know, overwhelming response, so, um, right now we got the slanging and banging tees, it's a handwritten chain, like, on the chest, um, those are very popular, we got them in all kind of colors, you know what I mean, we got the internet store that's coming up, um, we're getting, we're getting a lot of fucking updates and shit, and a lot of, a lot of things cracking on that, so, when you log on to my MySpace, there'll be a link to the uh, my, to the store, to the the, the real 310 West uh, merchandise store, and that's where you'll be able to pick up the T-shirts. We'll fucking have sweaters real soon. We're gonna have caps real soon. We got fucking blunt splitters. We got this little device. You slip a, a fucking blunt through, and it slits your blunt like clean open. We got those, you know, small size like a keychain. I mean, we're gonna have those on deck. Um, fuck it's it's the merchandising is, is is going out the fuck going out the doors like crazy so definitely we got more designs coming real soon so fans stay posted anything pink for the girls <laughs> yeah for sure we got pink draws pink g-strings and shit oh, now, really? we're, work, we're working on shit you know what i mean we, we like i said this was this was an accident like you know really we did some shit for the homeboys to go out and represent but people always like, man, I love them shirts. I need to get them shirts. So we just started getting rid of them, and they squ- they're gone by like, you know, by the boxes they've been gone. So um, now, now it's you know the next level doing sweaters and hats and shit like that, and then doing stuff for the girls. You know, girls are you know a little harder to please. You know, my girls out there they want to rock something cute and shit. I don't blame them. You know, what I mean the homies could put on some grimy and clean and shit, and they'll look hot. But yeah, girls need the you know specialty shit, pink with a little fucking. Iced out, you know, pink, spanky, local, logo on there, something crazy, you know. So yeah, for sure, 
on that real soon. Okay, I'm excited about that. I can't wait to see that. Okay, okay. so I said I'm excited about that. <laughs> yeah, nice. Right. Okay, so here's one, and maybe it's a little tougher to answer, but uh, it's artist seduction, I mean, execution. He wants to know what you think about the beef. I mean, right now there's the big one that we can't get off the main page on Khalifa Rap is the snapper and high power beef, but there's other beefs. I mean, what do you think about that? Well, um, I'm going to have my time to, you know, to speak, to speak on, you know, to speak on what I need to speak on. Um, really, that's something they got to work out. You know, I wouldn't, it, it don't, it don't, I mean, my input don't really got nothing to do with what they're doing, so, you know, it's a trip, you know, I, I look at that shit and I trip out, you know what I mean, like, how, how the game is changing and shit and the motherfucking, you know, the tools of fucking advertisement and what, we, you know, what, 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 what we got to do nowadays to fucking defend ourselves, you know what I mean, like, you know, sometimes motherfuckers is going to use, you know, the worst thing they can to fucking hurt your credibility and bring you down, and it's like, when you cornered, and you're in a situation where, like, the fans are starting to believe that, you know what I mean, that what this other vato is saying is fucking true, it's like, fuck, you got to strap up. You got to, you know, you know, you got to get your guns together. You got to get your shit together and, and, and fucking not go out like no punk. You know what I mean? You got to you gotta go out there and do that. So, I mean, fuck, you know, when it comes down to that, I mean, just fucking, you know, the real, the real be fucking exposed, the real will. So at the end of the day, you know, your, your fucking, your favorite rapper is gonna come out and you're gonna know what the fuck, I mean, unless you, tri you know, you're tripping, you're like, fucking, it's just music, but I mean, I couldn't look at a motherfucker the same after I knew he was a straight fucking weenie, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Okay, Mexican Malo wants to know, where do you see the game in five, ten years? Do you think Chicano rap will ever blow up? Man, it is blowing up. It's blowing up. It's growing every day, so... Like I said, you know, fucking people got to get their money right, you know, put their fucking CD money together and just go out there and pick up your fucking favorite artists, you know. You know, fucking the, the streets is hungry. Um, um, these artists out here are hungry. So, you know, everybody needs something out here. So let's get to hustling and making this shit crack. Fucking, uh, you know, this music thing is, 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 you know, it's unpredictable. You know, one day it'll look like one thing and the next day you don't know what it's looking like. So... You know, it's hard to say really where it's going, but I know that every day we're growing. Every day it's getting bigger and bigger. So, you know, only thing I can say is go out there and support. Okay. And um, he also wants to know what what do you think is missing in Chicano rap? Oh, uh, fuck. What's missing? Fucking, you know, more corporate dollars, a lot more funding, a lot more of these, you know, big, big companies, you know, uh, not being scared to, to invest some of these artists that do fucking sell units, man. You look at some of these cats are selling fucking units out their trunk, you know, and without the help of anybody. So, you know, maybe if we get a little, a little more support, a little more fucking big dollars out there in the game, we can stimulate the fucking, you know, the brown dollar economy a little bit and, 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 and get this shit cracking a little harder. So, you know, that's one thing I, w I would like to see, um, you know, see happen. Okay, the next question is for me, and this is more like on a personal level type question. Uh, besides, you know, the real 310 West, um, who do you bump? Like right now, you're in your car. You know, if you weren't doing this interview, who do you, who would you be playing? I'm fucking right now. I'm, I got a I got a mix CD that got a little bit of everything because I get fucking I don't know. I get uh. You know, I like flavoring my shit, so, you know, I like flavoring my fucking trunk, so I got, um, fucking, I got, of course, the real 310 West shit on there, I got some new big crime shit before he got popped, he, uh, left us some tracks, he's got an album dropping, um, independently, he's doing it all on his own, um, so, you know, check out big crime shit coming out real soon, organized crime, um, also, I got, uh, songs from fucking Weddle Snipes mixtape, on my on my fucking burnt CD, I got some DPG on there. Um, I got a little bit of Scarface. I got fucking um, Conejo on there. Um, what else I got? I got some fucking shit. What else is on there? Some fuck. I got some old school shit on there. Some Rick James. I got fucking. I got Stomper on there. My boy Stomps is on there. I, a little bit of everything. So. Yeah, it sounds like a good little mix right there. Rick James, Stomper. The gangster shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so I saved, you know, one of the, everybody, you know, asked about this. You already know what it is. The, they want to know, are you ever going to fight night owl? What's going to happen? And so on. So what do you have to say about that whole night owl situation? Man, I've been, you know what, I've had people at my hotline, like, checking the lines every day. Fucking, and I don't get no response, no call from nowhere. I've been, like, fucking waiting on a call from somebody to get at me to let me know when the fuck we're gonna make this shit crack and I don't I don't hear nothing. Like I'm I'm fucking checking in every single day. Like what's up? Did we get a call from that? Nah. Hey what's up? We'll check the voicemail, check the emails, check everything, man, because they gotta fucking be rich. they gotta they're hearing this shit. I know you shit sitting there fucking with a bucket of fucking chicken. You know what I mean? <laughs> Looms draws fucking bitch ass motherfucker and he's listening to this shit. He listen to all this shit. He listen to all this shit. He's on the fucking net every fucking day fucking tripping out on this shit. You know what I mean? So all I got to say is fucking get at me, fool. Get at me, you fucking punk. Put this shit on fucking DVD. Do whatever the fuck you want. You can have this motherfucker, homie. You get all the proceedings to this bitch, homie. You make all this failure. You know what I mean? You get your money, homie. Well, fucking let's do this shit already. You know what I mean? Fucking I'll pay some failure. How about that? I got some money on this shit. You know what I mean? So let's make this shit crack. Like, what's up? Motherfucking ain't hearing nothing. Ain't hearing a goddamn thing out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting pretty fucking fed up with fucking all this silence and shit. Like, I want to see, I want to fucking hear some shit. You know what I mean? Just make you look on the motherfucking streets every day trying to make this shit crack. So, what's good? You know what I mean? Ask your fucking favorite rapper when you run into him. What's up with Spanky? You know what I mean? So let's do this shit, big dog. Be the big dog in the game, so let's make this shit crack, dog. You still got me cracking up. I couldn't, after the bucket of chicken thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end the question like I ended last time when my phone started ringing because I'm so unprofessional. Okay, so uh, boxers or briefs? But, but is that, that's a question that we're asking? Yeah, boxers that's a question. Boxers or briefs? Yeah. That's like boxers. You know, we keep it pro club. Pro club <laughs> boxers, you know. That's really the fucking boxers of choice. They're very durable. They last a long time. You know what I'm saying? They don't fade or nothing when you're washing them. You know you don't care about your boxers. You want to keep your pants crisp and your shirt crisp, but the boxers like, ah, whatever. But, yeah, pro clubs, those last, so. <laughs> pro clubs. They don't give me right. no money for saying that shit, but, you know, <laughs> just got to keep it real like that. You never know. Maybe we'll see a big old billboard next time. Thank you, both. All right. <laughs> Um, I want to thank you. I, you know, the I know the uh, interview we did last time got, you know, we had some technical difficulties, and yeah, sure. I want to sure thank you for, <laughs> I want to thank you for having me there. You guys were perfect gentlemen. You know, everybody was, you know, trying to have their two cents on what happened, and you were with a bunch of dudes, but you guys, you know, I told you to, you know, you guys made me feel very welcomed, and. Oh, it's yeah, all love, bro. I know, I know. You touch down here in, in Los, you know, it's all West Sider love. You know, you a West Sider, I'm a West Sider. It's nothing but love, man. And you fucking let me know when anybody acts stupid while you out here again, fucking, you know, checking us out, man. We are gonna send you a little fucking, a little pack with you, so you you, you straight. You know what I mean? But I know you got the streets on lock out here, so I ain't tripping on that. But <laughs> yeah, for sure, thanks for coming out. I'm glad you you know, came to hang out at the motherfucking dungeon over here at the loft where we're at, you know, and, um, shit, I had a blast with you too, shit. And I have to say, for all the, you know, your fans listening, I was very impressed. For it being a whole bunch of dudes, you guys were very clean. So that oh. really impressed me. <laughs> shit, don't trip. It's, it's how we do it every day. You know, uh -huh. you know how the West Side does it? Come on. <laughs> well, again, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for taking the time again while you were about yeah. to go have your lunch. We interrupted. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go have a little bit of shrimp, you know what I'm saying, some steak and shit, smoke a blunt. I'm going to chill my boy Stomper. He's blowing me up right now. Call me like, where the fuck you at? So I'm over here getting this pack of fucking uh, grape swishers and shit so I cut my shit up, roll it up. But much love to all the homeboys out there banging, you know, fucking net banging, you know, to all the homies that sent these questions, you know what I mean? G fella, God, all these, you know, all these homies out here fucking inquiring and shit. Hey, it's all love. Big W's up. When you see me in the street, fucking let's smoke a blunt. You know what I mean? And and, and to all the homeboys out there, fucking shout outs to Weddle Snipes. Big crime, keep your head up. Says from the West, go pick up all this shit. The hottest fucking producer ever fucking came out the West Side. 
You know what I mean? Fucking check out Spanky Loco, the true everybody killer. The superior album coming out. It's coming out this motherfucking summer, so check it out. That's palabra. That's that's word to all my fans out there. The superior is dropping already, so peep that out. We got videos. We got a gang exclusive shit. You know what I mean? We got the real 310 West TV. So check that out. It's the real 310 West.com. That's where you can find us. Peep it out. Much love. Much love. I appreciate it. All the love.